What's going on YouTube, GSN right here. So in today's video we're going to discuss about the current situation of jailbreaking on iOS 11.4, 11.4.1 and 12 and what you should be doing. A lot of things have piled up and a lot of events have occurred in the past week so I'm going to try to explain what you should be doing and why is it that the safe method. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare and their program Rayboot which helps you fix iOS 11 or iOS 12 problems or enter in recovery mode or exit the recovery mode. Check it out in the link below. So you're running iOS 11.4 or iOS 11.4.1 or iOS 12. iOS 11.4.1 and iOS 12 in here are still signed, so you are able to freely jump from iOS 11.4.1 to 12 or from 12 to 11.4.1. So it's a very good idea to check out this video to see exactly what version should you be running on, depending on what needs you have. If you want faster jailbreaking, there is a different version. If you want security and probably a jailbreak later on, that is the iOS 12. So 11.4.1 one. Well, 11.4.1 is still signed, however, it will not be signed for so long. iOS 12 is already out and it's been out since September 17, so iOS 11.4.1 is really going to be phased out quite soon and iOS 12.1 beta 1 is already out and of course with iOS 12 released and with iOS 12.1 in beta there is no point to keep iOS 11.4.1 for so much. So go ahead and save your blobs right now if you did not already. I made a video on how to do that so go ahead and check it out in the description down below. However if you remember Jan Beer announced the fact that iOS 11.4.1 will definitely receive some exploits. He mentioned in here quote and if you're using the MPTCP VFS exploit for security research, for example, Electra 11.3.1, you should just keep using that, but I'll release the 11.4.1 exploits I have, but the focus will shift to iOS 12 now. So the iOS 11.4.1 will definitely get some public available kernel exploits that we can use in a jailbreak. At that point, probably the Electra can easily be updated because the changes between iOS 11.3.1 and iOS 11.4.1 in terms of the canonical patches are not that much. But the news for iOS 12 are not that bad either because if you remember I made a video a few days ago where Alibaba team has managed to create a fully untethered jailbreak for the iOS 12. A lot of you criticized them for not releasing it and criticized me for covering the news because they are not going to release it and so on. Well useless critics aside, the jailbreak achievement is a very important thing. We now know that iOS 12 can be jailbroken and not only can it be jailbroken but it can be jailbroken broken untethered, which is a very very big achievement. There hasn't been an untethered jailbreak since quite a lot of time and not even an achieved one let alone a released one. So it's a very important breakthrough. It's important now to know that iOS 12 can be jailbroken and you're going to ask me why they will not release it anyways. Well if we do not know whether it can be jailbroken or not, we pretty much run the risk of updating past iOS 12.0 which I definitely do not recommend at this point iOS 12.0 can definitely be jailbroken, it's vulnerable enough that you can jailbreak it properly and untethered. However, the untether is not publicly available, we do not know how they managed to get persistence, but at least we know that it's jailbreakable and there are vulnerabilities for the iOS 12 that will be released. However, past iOS 12.0, going up to iOS 12.1 for example in the beta, these vulnerabilities might as well be patched, so do not update past that. If you want to jailbreak iOS 12, for the moment iOS 12.0 is the version to stay on. However, iOS 12 may not receive a jailbreak as fast as iOS 11.4.1. The next thing I want to discuss is Cilio. Yes, it's coming very very close to the completion and they posted a few screenshots in here with the packages working in a specific repo called Dynastic Develop and of course as you can see it does show up all the packages and this is how a package looks like when you pretty much try to install it. You have this um, name in here, you have the logo of it, the repo, you have a uh, picture in here pretty much showing some banner if you want to and some screenshots and then you have the get button in there. And you have support because yes there will be support and apparently the support is provided by Unix support in here which is a bit odd but yes they will be providing the support for the Cilium. And they also said in here quote hello as iOS 12 has not been publicly jailbroken yet you won't be able to install Cilio on iOS 12 for the time being but once a jailbreak comes out Cilio will surely work with minimal modifications. This is actually very good because this means that once a jailbreak for the iOS 12 is out having Cilio installed 
installed on iOS 12 should be quite trivial, which is of course quite good compared to Cydia, which has to be patched quite heavily in order to work pretty fine on iOS 12 or other versions. So yeah, this is definitely good news. Anyways, this is pretty much it guys, this video has been brought to you by Wondershare, they currently have a giveaway where you can win the new iPhone XR. All you have to do is to navigate here to this website, the link is in the description down below, press contest number 3 and select which iPhone do you prefer. And of course you enter their giveaway and if you're lucky, you can win the new iPhone XR. Check them out and good luck! Thank you for watching guys, this is pretty much it, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, I will keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community, this is what happened this week and these are the major events and what iOS version you should be staying on. Thank you again for watching, I'm Gio Snow, until the next time, peace out!